This here is from the Jezebel. It's called Giant Depp has a girlfriend now. Aren't you glad we canceled him from July 16th, 2024? Now you probably know there's speculation going around about Johnny and this Russian model. I'm not here to say whether it's true or not. I'm here to say there's speculation going on and there sure is from pretty much every publication, including People, Page Six, Daily Mail, you name it. But now this Jezebel place pitches in. And the reason I'm covering them is because they've been against Johnny traditionally for a very long time, not only because they believe you know who, because their ideology is, well, just believe all women anyway. Well, it's safe to say that Giant Depp's one wild and ruined life has made a recovery if not undergone a complete and total renovation. So much so that if the year were 2005, Ty Pennington would be yelling, move that bus to reveal a man who looks like a raggedy, rakey practitioner in upstate New York. Grotesque appearance aside, he's managed to nab at least four different pay streams and because it was really only a matter of time, a brand new girlfriend. So what this person is saying, grotesque appearance aside, is that Johnny's grotesque. Well, I don't think grotesque is the right word. Unless, maybe, you're not attracted to men. That might explain it. But what do I know? The title of the publication is just Jezebel. Maybe they're all, you know, hopeless romantics looking for the perfect man. On Monday, the Daily Mail reported that the 61-year-old actor, artist, director, musician, model, and I cannot stress this enough by UK standards, a wife beater has been casually dating a 28-year-old Russian model beautician and model. The relationship, according to sources, close to Depp isn't new. Apparently, Depp and Yulia met in 2021 before the defamation trial from hell and have been hanging out ever since. How does one hang out with Johnny Depp these days? I'm not sure, but I think I could do it. I'd probably say, yo, what's up, Johnny? Loved you and Donnie Broskow. You got to tell me, man, what was it like to meet a Beatle? And then we'd probably start talking for a long time. First, you purchase a hazmat suit. Second, you undergo a lobotomy. Just kidding. Haha, that was hilarious. A lobotomy to talk to Johnny Depp. Can't say it's not original. Very creepy language, but okay, I'll give you that I haven't heard it before. Last week, the pair were photographed traveling together. Earlier this year, she posted a photo that shows Depp's hand on her knee on her Instagram story during a Q&A with her followers, but I think it was just her hand on her knee, his hand on his knee. When asked who her favorite actor was, she replied, Johnny Depp. He's a man who's incredibly talented and inspiring. Good choice. As if that weren't gag-inducing enough, when Depp was accompanying his late friend Jeff Beck on tour across Europe in 2022, Yulia made appearances at a few gigs per more photos posted to social media that see Depp kissing her neck. Good for him. Great. All right, man. Look, if you want a chance for me to think a little bit better of you, even if you've got a different opinion, why are you using words like lobotomy, gag-inducing, grotesque? That's the problem, man. Of course, I've said some jokes about Amber and things like that, but if I was writing something serious in print, my tone would be different. I'd go to convince with words and ideas. Videos, content on social media, well, it's supposed to get some laughs, get some blood flowing, get some energy in the room. But in print, it doesn't work as well. So who is this person? Well, not much is known apart from the fact that she's a mere three years older than Depp's daughter, Lily Rose. Whoa! Stop right there, man! <laughs> not much is known. You quoted the Daily Mail article who wrote like 12 pages about her. All right, it wasn't all about her, but they had a lot about her history, the college she went to, her past jobs, who she hung out with, pictures of her, I think some foods she liked. So let's just say the Jezebel got that wrong. And it doesn't look like we'll learn much more, they say, except for what she posts on social media and for whatever she does in the future. Just go check her out, you'll learn it all. People these days who are somewhat famous, famous or whatever, generally have a following and post on social media. It's all there for you to see. Meanwhile, Depp continues to be mobbed by fans anytime he's spotted out and very notably not promote his latest film, Johnny Puff Secret Mission, where he voices a gibberish speaking puffin. Well, thank you for promoting it, 
And I would call that modesty. So if Johnny promoted it all the time on interviews with fans, you'd say something like, ooh, he's selflessly promoting his movie because it's not going to do good. Ooh, Johnny's got no shame. If he doesn't promote it, you'll say he doesn't promote it. That's somewhat of a compliment. I'm sure he could if he wanted to. He could post on his social media right now. TikTok's got like 17 million. Instagram's got like 32 million. He could just put the trailer up there, put some pics up there, have some voice clips. He's choosing not to, obviously, in what I would say, now that I think about it, as modesty. Well, it's a good thing we canceled him so good is how they end, except the problem is, like we said before, he was canceled for a little while, but for the last two years, I'd say uncanceled is pretty accurate. Anyway, this is YouTube. This is a family-friendly channel, so I'm not going to curse or things like that, and I'm not going to really say how I feel about the Jezebel, but maybe some people get the idea. I'm not a fan, especially because they use words that aren't so tasteful. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you're not subscribed, you consider it. If you don't, I'll be sad, but I'll get over it. See you next time.